Hey guys, it's Kevin. I'm going to share some uh, experience coloring this HP printhead. I'm using the printhead 910. I hope it can shine some light to when you clean the uh, other models like a 936, uh, 9, uh, 902, 5, uh, 5664 printheads. I have hundreds of those uh, printheads to refurbish. And uh, what I do is uh, I use this uh, uh, cleaning kit. I'll put the link to the kit above. And uh, on here you can see there's a video here. You can see how I do it. Uh, let me define when I use the printer's building function. I call it cleaning. So usually I do three cleanings. Uh, then I will inject this uh, cleaning solution in the printer, leave it for uh, 12 hours. I call it flush. And then I will clean it three more times. So this is full circle. Uh, the detail is on that video uh, on the page, and uh, you can you can lo look it up. Oh, actually, let me double check with uh, somebody doing it hundreds of times. Um, how many cleans cleanings do we do before we flush it? Uh, I mean, the first time we put the the print that in, put the put the ink in. It runs. You mean like how many times it runs? It runs three times. Three times, and then we flush it, mm -hmm. and then we do three three times. Yep, and run it three times. So, what's the percentage of the print that is like is is good after that? Most of them not really are good after that. Usually, it mm -hmm. sometimes takes like. Two flushes, maybe. Two flushes normally. Yeah. So the one we had problem is like after two flushes. Yeah. Okay. This one, it. that one might have been two or three flushes maybe. Okay. But I'm a. Okay, so no, usually it run pretty smooth. We do two or three cycles and we can pick it up and sell it. Uh, but recently she brought me those that after two or three cycles, you're going to see same color all the way across. Then you do one more cleaning. One color gonna be really bad. So you can see the magenta and yellow that they're good, but the uh, blue is really blue or cyan is really bad. However, just one cleaning before the cyan is perfect. <laughs> and uh, however, the every color is cyan. It's weird because it's after two or three flashes or cycles. Uh, she brought those to me. And uh, usually we just consider them bad and threw them out. And before throwing them out, I'm going to do some experiment. So this video is about that. I took this video before the experiment and uh, pay attention to the ink channel. You can see the ink moving in there. It's going to be important afterwards. And take a look again. Can you see it? Uh, first thing come to my mind, of course, is ultrasonic. I usually do not do ultrasonic for Epson uh, because Epson's printhead is based on uh, piezojet, which is a membrane technology. Uh, if you don't know you uh, Epson, you may damage it. Uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much. If you don't have experience with uh, Epson. Don't do it. Uh, however, for those uh, HP or Canon uh, printhead, I usually do it all the time. And uh, you can see in my other videos that I, I just nuke it. I nuke it like uh, uh, 20 minutes. You just put the printhead on a plastic basket and uh, uh, fill the, the fluid level. You can use uh, just water, or you can, like me, uh, if you have lots of uh, cleaning solution, you can fill the cleaning solution. Fill it just a little bit above the bottom of the printhead, so you don't make the, uh, the electronic uh, parts wet. Ultrasonic is going to create uh, millions millions of uh, tiny bubbles uh, inside the printhead. The bubble is going to push the ink up. However, you can see the blue or cyan doesn't have enough fluid going up. That's interesting. I run it for three minutes. So the end result is actually I killed it. And uh, there will, there's a just blank page after, after I uh, clean it. And uh, then the second cleaning just, uh, just like a really tiny color comes out. So in my conclusion is uh, don't do the uh, don't do the ultrasonic more than 
like uh, do, either do not do it at all, or if you do it, do like me, like uh, put in three minutes, maybe uh, maybe try for like a couple seconds and uh, just gradually increase. See if it works. Once I get more of uh, those uh, uh, bad uh, print ads, I'm going to try the ultrasonic again. This morning, finally, we got uh, a print ad that cannot be cleaned after two cycles. You can see it has the same problem. I print almost perfectly. Uh, however, they're all in the same color. And clean again. One color is gone. The other color remains perfect, almost perfect. So thinking, uh, it can print nicely uh, in the one in one color, so it's not clock on the nozzles. So maybe there is something wrong on the ink supply. Either the cartridge is not sealed properly, or there's a ink clock in those in those chambers, and it's definitely not a problem on the nozzles. Let's work on this part. So instead of uh, inject the ink, uh, inject the cleaning solution directly, I first draw the ink backwards. So if anything in the tube, so if there is something blocking the ink channel, it will be sucked back to the syringe rather than be pushing forward to the nozzle. And then I inject the fluid and uh, wait 12 hours and clean it. Secondly, the HP's seal is terrible, the black seal. So I put a one extra layer of uh, uh, washer. I'm going to put the link to the washer above. So I double it. And those washers very easy to install. Just a larger portion towards back, a smaller portion to the front, and uh, you lay on top of the, the black seal. Um, it, so this one, I doubled it up. I used two washers just to make sure. If you have any gap, uh, the printer is going to suck air into the print ad rather than ink. Uh, flush 12 hours later, the first first cleaning doesn't look bad at all. And uh, second cleaning, and uh, third cleaning. If, if in the future I have other uh, print ad that cannot be cleaned, and uh, we're going to throw away. I'm going to try the ultrasonic uh, cleaner and I'm going to share it with you. Just in case you want to see what uh, America looks like at the peak of uh, Omicron, I got upgraded to the first class because there were only three passengers. On the way back, the uh, flight attendant asked me if I want to take the half of the plane, or I want to sit with the other first-class passengers. I feel like uh, I have my private plane and my private airport, just me and uh, my pilot. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Washington International Airport. When I got into the airport, uh, there were just me and uh, 30 lanes of uh, TS agents. Each lane has like uh, four or five people, so it's just me and uh, 150 TS agents. They all look at me, and uh, there's somebody say lane 21, and I said, can I do 30 because uh, it's closer to me? And the lane 21 said, no, we we'll take turns. Do you think it's easy to get to 21? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.